What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Eric. Coming with another episode of Gemini Moose. Today, we're going to be talking about Lil J and LPG Butter. Lil J claims that LPG Butter snitched channel. He ratted him out. He said that this man testified against him, and he said that he has the paperwork to prove it. You guys can hear it right here from Lil J. Then you told me you felt like one of your own people wrote a statement on you. Can we talk about that? Yeah, we talking about Italian beef and Pepsi. I'm talking about I'm talking about butter. Italian beef and Pepsi. I don't know who butter is, man. I don't know that, no that's butter, the, man. That's what that's what you call him now. That's what he called himself. That's what he was eating in that room, pointing them statements out and shit. <laughs> that's his name, damn goofy motherfucker. I ain't feed me shit. I ain't get a sandwich, a motherfucker piece of bread, nothing. The sink ain't even working myself, bro. It took him. He had a Titan beef, a Pepsi, and a pack of squares right there. As soon as I saw that, oh yeah, that bitch told. That bitch told, man. You know, it's, it's little shit though, man. Real niggas always prevail, man. Bro, niggas know what they did. You know what I'm saying? And, and how do you find out that he's talking? Who tells you this? Shit, my lawyer. And shit, I paid for his lawyer at first. When I paid for his lawyer, his lawyer tried to tell him. She first tried to tell me, you can get yourself out of this. You can tell on him. My man, hell no, your ass fast, shorty. She tell him, he why I signed that. <laughs> oh, bro, why I signed that. He gets out four years earlier than you, right? Yeah, he took, a, he took a plea deal to testify against me for that. I'm about to put that out there soon, too. I mean, that, that paperwork, I still got that. You got my OG locked up over that shit. So I remember Duck was saying that he wish you would have took the deal because you could have got out four years early, right? I'm not finna tell. I don't give a fuck what the no deal is. They not finna, they, hell no. Nah, they take away your pride, your dignity as a man. I'm not finna tell, man. Motherfuckers know what they do in these streets, man. And bro, fuck I'm telling for. Yeah. I should never hopped in the streets. Stay your bitch ass in school or something. You want to tell, be a bitch, go stay in school, play basketball, football, or something, man. Street shit. Ain't for everybody, man. And they give you 14 years. Yeah, I got myself 14 years. I I pay a lot of money for lawyers. I fought my shit myself. They got 14 at 50 for conspiracy to murder. Myself with no law um degree, none of that shit. I just put my head in that legal, that legal shit. Dang, that's crazy. Lil' Jay said the LPG brother snitched on him. He told on him for a Italian beef and a Pepsi and a pack of Joe's, man. This is crazy. How you gonna tell your friend for this? And you guys, if you guys choose to go in the street, if you guys choose that route, if you guys choose the street route, you guys need to make sure that you guys stick to the code because if you going by the streets, you gotta play by the streets rules. You cannot tell, you gotta be quiet. It don't matter if you're a teenager, an adult, you chose this lifestyle, so you have to play by this lifestyle rules. No question asked. And I know you guys are wondering what LPG buddy has to say about this. Well, here we go. You know what I'm saying? The day I got locked up in an interrogation picture, I got on different shirts. I got a different I got a different hairstyle in my head and everything. You know what I'm saying? That state that when I was in the, that when I was in the station that time, that was a whole nother case that I was fighting. You know what I'm saying? Wooski can verify that case. Wooski was at my crib when it happened. You see what I'm saying? FBG brother said that he made a statement. He said he claimed that he had to. He said that he was in a situation where he had to. He said that he was 16. It was kids in the house. His mother was there. So he had to make a statement about the shooting that appeared in the dwelling. Okay. What did you guys think about this? Would you guys would have made a statement or would you guys play by the streets and keep your guys' mouth closed? This is what Eric. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Peace.